U of M researchers think that they can help reduce the number of catalytic converter thefts. The key is a cheaper alternative to the precious metals that thieves are stealing. As John Lordson discovered, so far the results have been very encouraging. It's fun and all these kind of emotions kind of drive us to do uh, better research. In a laboratory on the U of M campus. There are fewer molecules in this than in outer space. Researchers are using complex equipment to find a solution to a complex problem. In a sense, they're trying to make catalytic converters less attractive to thieves. Now there's platinum, rhodium, palladium, all precious metals that do different chemistries that help clean up the exhaust from a car. Professor Paul Dauenhauer and his crew want to replace those targeted metals with something much cheaper but just as efficient, like copper. The secret is in these chips. We can make the surface, which is a low cost metal like copper, behave like a precious metal. Results over the past few years have been so positive that last month the U.S. Department of Energy gave them a $10.6 million grant to continue their work. They say the recycled copper replacement is also more friendly to the environment. I would say that this is a, a new class of catalyst that's never been looked at before. Which is why they're now calling them catalytic condensers. And as the technology advances, Dauenhauer believes it can be used for much more than catalytic converters. We also use them in things like the production of renewable hydrogen from solar and wind, or to make uh, fertilizers like ammonia that people use in agriculture. These all are made with precious metals. Our goal is to replace all of those. There's still more work to do, but the team believes something this small could lead to big solutions. We're already at the point where we have a, a device that we can put into a system and see it function and be controllable in a way that's never been possible before. We can build an entire world that's carbon free and low cost energy. At the University of Minnesota, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Dalmanhauer says the next step is to see how well this works on a larger scale. He is hopeful the catalytic condenser will be available within the next five years.